So here we have two of the iPhone 7 Plus from T-Mobile. Uh, both of them were originally sold and locked by T-Mobile. The white one has still it is still locked. The black one has been unlocked. And I'm just holding my hand over it to cover the serial number. So um, let me just close out of that, and I will demonstrate what happens when I take my Sprint SIM card and try to insert it into these phones. So, let us first insert it into the phone that is still locked. Mm, if I can... Okay. that T-Mobile SIM card and in goes the Sprint SIM card. So it immediately popped up saying hello activation required as soon as I put in the SIM card. So all right we can go ahead and try Sorry, the Wi-Fi seems to be taking its time. Okay. There we go. There we go. That is what happens when you take a SIM card that is not from the correct carrier and try to put it into a SIM locked iPhone. So now, when I remove the SIM card, this here screen will just disappear. Sorry, my SIM remover tool is on my keychain, so it's a bit difficult to work with, with all the keys. There we go, and gone. Just like that, we're back to normal. So I will put the original T-Mobile SIM back in. and we're back in business. I will now perform the same process on my unlocked iPhone. All right, T-Mobile SIM card is out. And the Sprint SIM is going in. So, because this phone has already been unlocked and has already been used with other SIM cards, nothing is popping up. And there we go. It is working. Except it won't actually work because, of course, this phone is not CDMA capable, but it will still connect to Sprint LTE because LTE is EGSM technology.